the Trump administration has announced restrictions on Chinese diplomats in the U.S. Beginning Wednesday, they will have to give advance notice of any meetings with state, local and also municipal officials as well as at educational and research institutions. State Department officials said the move was an effort to add recipro uh, uh, reciprocity to the way U.S. diplomats are treated in China. In a Twitter post, China's embassy in Washington said the latest restrictions on Chinese diplomats were in violation of the 1961 Vienna Convention on Diplomatic Relations and added the Chinese side does not have similar requirements on American diplomats and consular officers in China. CGTN's Harry Horton has more from Washington. Well, the U.S. State Department says it's not asking Chinese officials to seek permission uh, for these meetings in the United States. They simply want these Chinese officials to notify the State Department before these meetings take place. The U.S. State Department wouldn't say what the consequences might be uh, if this notification didn't take place. Uh, a few hours later, the Chinese ambassador to Washington, D.C. responded uh, on Twitter uh, and he said uh, he, he talked about the fact that uh, the previous U.S. ambassador to China had been able to visit uh, all of the Chinese provinces in the country during his tenure there. And yet he remarked that uh, in his six and a half years that he'd been posted here in Washington, D.C., he yet to uh, be able to set foot in every U.S. state. So uh, clearly suggesting there that there have been some restrictions on the movement that he'd had uh, within the United States. All of this, of course, going on whilst the United States and China uh, have these very sensitive trade discussions as they seek to uh, sign off on phase one of a possible trade agreement between the two countries. The U.S. State Department says that these measures are not directly linked to any other part of the relationship between the two countries.